Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Erin and on this channel I talk about the debt journey that my husband and I are embarking on this year to pay off all of our consumer debt by the end of 2021. So I talk a lot about our budgeting, our debt payoff, our net worth and today doing something I've actually always wanted to do and that is stuffing some cash envelopes as well. So if this is the kind of content that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe below and become part of our little family here and join us on the journey. But let's get to the fun part and that is stuffing our envelopes with some cash. Okay, so if you're new here and even if you have been a subscriber here for a while, the one type of video that I usually do not do is cash stuffing. And that's just kind of been because of the way that our budget has been set up and that we don't really have a lot of cash envelope. We really only have three that we use consistently and that's our groceries, our household, and our spend. Everything else, a lot of times is really done electronically. But we've made some changes for quarter two to our some of our sinking funds, particularly some of our, our lower amount ones, or at least our lower amount for us funds. And so we're going to be looking at using envelope system for that. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. Before I get started though, I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with a YouTuber. Her name is Marlene. She's over at Snow Gardener 307. If you watch her, you would be very familiar with her journey with Fred, who I now lovingly refer to as Drop Dead Fred because because he did die and she has gotten a Fred Jr. And I had told her in a comment once before that what Fred really needed was a Wilma. Fred still died, never got a Wilma. I happen to have a Wilma. So Marlene, if you are watching, I've got your Wilma for Fred Jr. right here. Kind of keep her up over here in the corner so maybe you can suss her out a bit during the video. See if she might be quality material for your Fred. Silliness aside, we're gonna go ahead and get into the stuffing. I'll talk a little bit about our process that we came up with as well. So I do have our very, very colorful um, Australian money. We'll get it set up and we will quickly get started. All set up, money is sitting out. I do have envelopes here. I do have a cheat sheet here down below as well. And I have our different size and different color money. Now, because all of these funds are for the most part starting from scratch, starting from zero, I'm not gonna be doing all of the counting out. This is the amount, this is the ad, this is how much is here. If I keep up with this, depending on how it goes, I might do that in the future. Set my envelopes up here to the side. First envelope that I have is going to be Christmas. Christmas has nothing in it. I am gonna have a video coming out about our sinking funds, at least these particular smaller ones, how much we're aiming to save, etc. That's gonna be coming out probably um, later on this week, so then things will make a little bit more sense, but I had the money and I figured, let's go ahead and film it before I spend it. Uh, which I really shouldn't be because they're sinking funds, but you never know. So Christmas, and these are going to be done every fortnight, I should mention, so not weekly, but every fortnight. So Christmas is going to get $50. So, and I pointed it out in one video before, but if you'll notice, our money has braille on it. So not only is it different sized um, for people who are uh, visually impaired, but also has braille and in it as well. So I think it's kind of cool that we, that consideration is given to individuals of all different types of needs. So $50. So we'll just kind of mark it off as we go along. Easter. So Easter just passed. So we're kind of starting from scratch. That one Easter is going to get $10. And I do have inside all of these um, kind of a tracker as well. And I will go back through and I will film these, film, fill these in. I just didn't want to do it while filming just for the sake of uh, trying to keep this short because I don't know how long it's going to go. So Easter, $10. Next is other holidays. So this could be anything, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Australia Day, New Year's, um, like kind of like a simple New Year's, not like if we go to Sydney Harbor or anything like that to watch fireworks. 
but just any other little things that pop up. We're not really big holiday people other than Easter and Christmas. Thanksgiving, you don't really do that out here. You don't even want to know the price of a turkey out here for Easter or not for Easter, for Thanksgiving. So just some of those other holidays. That will be $10. For birthdays, we are going to be putting in $30. And so this is really similar to the budget mom. Obviously I put it into Excel because it does my math for me. I screw up way too much. So 120 and 110. So our $20 bill. $10 bill. I love how they're clear all the way through. They have different weights as well. So they can actually measure out our notes on a scale because they have those different weights and they'll know by the, uh, by the weight of the first one that you put on what um, denomination it is. So $30 to birthdays. Our birthdays are one in June, one in September, one in October. So my son was kind of my birthday gift to myself. Our anniversary, so our anniversary did just pass on the 1st of April, so it was a really nice timing to kind of start over. So $15 for that. What this will be is if we want to go out for a dinner, I don't know if he wants to buy me gifts or flowers or something like that, just um, some money is set aside. Though I always have to be careful because with a, uh, you know, with an anniversary on April Fool's Day, you just never know what it is that might happen. So anniversary. Now I'm not going to do groceries, Gaz's money, household or spend. Household and spend, I already have those taken care of. Gaz got his money um, earlier this week. And then, so what's kind of left over here is gonna go into groceries, but because I had to stop and do some grocery shopping already, so money's been taken out of there. Um, and I just didn't feel like dealing with the hassle. So we are going to jump down to fuel. Because it is a new quarter, we did reset our entire fuel. So normally we carry it over, we roll it over, and we finally did just a complete reset on that. So for fuel, we get 250s. We will get 620s. So 20, 40, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 120. This one I probably will need to count out. Six tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and four fives. One, two, three, four, five. So when we count that out, should come to 300, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Whoopsie. Trying to give myself extra money there. One, two, three, four. Ah, yes, four, not five. So we'll double check that one more time. 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300. Love it when everything adds up nicely so that goes into the fuel budget so this is an old envelope that i have from the budget mom the other ones i was just tinkering around and i made them myself today it was actually kind of fun but not something i would want to do very often just quite time consuming lots of respect for those of you that have etsy shops and such that do this especially if you work with vinyl or such like that Transport, so transport, that's for paying our tolls or if we have any train fees, bus fees, anything, um, you know, city cat, ferries, because we have the river, we have the city cat that runs along it, any of that that we use, that's going to get 150. And that is going to get 250s, 220s, two, and two fives. So we'll count that one out, this should come to 150. 51, 20, 40, 45, 50. B-U-T must. And I'm hoping that by doing this, I'll actually get a bit better at tracking because I am absolutely terrible at tracking. I'll explain how digital works as well. So transport, done. Our doggos 
aka the Toe Breakers, they are going to get $150 a fortnight. So they get one of our beautiful uh, green. This isn't one of the new ones. It's only recently that we've changed, so this doesn't yet have the braille up on top of it. This will be the last denomination. So one 100, a 20, two tens, and two fives. And it's so difficult to work with fives because I'm so used to my $5 note challenge. I'm like, these should be going in another envelope. So 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. So 150 for the doggos. Nice thing about filming a bit later at night, they're asleep. Bulk groceries. So we have started doing a bit more shopping at Costco. I just leave my husband at home. Um, and then also some more bulk orders of spices and such off of, ooh, you're upside down. That's annoying. Off of Amazon. So $50 a, Well, it'll be, this time it's only getting $50. It's going to be $100 a fortnight because I already have $50 in there, I do believe. Look inside, and yes, I do. So 50, add another 50 to it. And again, it already had that, and I'll update it. So that one is taken care of. Um, the WTFD, WTOT, that is our miscellaneous fund. It is not safe for YouTube to say what it stands for. So $100 a fortnight. That is going to get four 20s and two 10s. So one, two, three, four. And two 10s. One and two. If you want to have a guess at what it is, I'll let you know if you're right or wrong. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. It's always good to have a miscellaneous fund because you just never know what is going to come up. We'll see how we go with that. Um, eating out. We are actually adding in, back in our eating out category. And the reason for this is because my husband and I have two kind of dates per year or not per year, Ooh, we better have more than that, per month. And that is for halfway through the month when we do our budget check-in and then at the end of the month when we do our monthly wrap-up. And we like to do that over over a meal. So over a dinner, take a, you know, take a break from cooking, particularly if I've been in hospital, I'm really craving something decent to eat. And so this is just going to factor in for that restaurants. So this is not fast food or anything like that. It's, you know, proper sit down restaurants, which can be quite expensive here in, in Australia. Um, but you get really, you know, you get really good, really good service and, um, you know, not a lot of interruptions. Um, there's not tipping in Australia. People are paid a decent um, living wage for working. Shocker. That actually works out quite nicely. No, that's not why our prices are higher. Our prices are higher because everything has to be imported. But when you pay your servers well, they're not trying to push you out the door after 15 minutes so that they can have somebody new sitting at your table. You can go out and you can have a lunch or a coffee or a dinner. You can be there for two hours and you don't get interrupted and you don't feel rushed. I absolutely love it. But eating out, so getting 200. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and 200. And there is that one. Now I do also have a health and personal care. This one is staying digital just because it is used so frequently and I usually have to top it up because I have all of my different doctor's visits. Um, especially now because things aren't going um, particularly well. I'm in hospital literally each week at this point. I usually have two if not three doctor's appointments outside of that um, per week. 
add in all of my medications and everything else. That is just the nature of this disease. Um, you know, there's no stopping it. And so you just kind of, you gotta do what you gotta do. So that one will be tracked all digitally, just using a tracking sheet. So I'll still be tracking on that. What I have remaining will actually then go to, uh, it's $200, $200? It is $200. So that is the second week of groceries as well. So I will actually pop that into the grocery fund on the back side so that, so then that way, because the other thing we're learning is that it is so difficult to kind of plan meals, plan grocery shopping, that I have to do it really kind of around my hospital visits because sometimes things go as planned and I'm only there, you know, overnight. So for maybe about 36 hours-ish. Other times things don't go as planned and I'll end up there for a week and I just never know what is going to happen. Um, I've got no control over that. So this is something that we're really having to work on a bit. All in all, um, across all of our funds, every fortnight we will be um, putting away $1,740. Now, with many of these being electronic, how that is going to work then is I also have a little clear envelope with a sloth on it because, well, sometimes I am slow. So if we so we still pay for everything we don't pay in cash we we pay on a card we pay that card off um i you know do it every day sometimes uh, at a minimum i do it every week and so what i will do then and then this is also why i had kind of those various denominations as well whenever there is a transaction i will take that money out of the envelope and then it will go into the to the bank. And then I can just pop down to an ATM machine, put the notes in there, it'll go back into the bank. So I don't have to be running in and out of the bank, um, you know, every week or, you know, every few days or whatever. It's something that my husband can do if if I'm tied up or anything like that. But then it just, it just makes it a little bit easier to track for us of making sure that it gets back in there. So that is going to be our plan, at least for the next quarter. We'll see how it goes, how it works. If it works, we'll keep it up for the next couple of years. If it doesn't work, we scrap it, we go back to what we are doing. And then when our mortgage comes out of being on a fixed term and back into a variable, all of this will go back into the bank because it actually sits in an offset account. And I know that that's not something that I've talked about yet on this channel, but uh, it's something that I will cover down the road. So sinking funds, cash, money are beautiful. I love our money. It is, it just, it really is so beautiful. Um, that's actually, that's really fun. It's fun watching people count money. Um, that was really fun counting it and, and putting it away as well. Very simple system that I have. I will be working on coming up with something, I don't know, maybe more sophisticated. So something different and may or may not be relatable because it's not US money, but hey, money is money. It spends the same no matter where you are. So let me know what you think about doing this type of a video. Like I said, it would only be about two times. It would be, you know, every fortnight that it would be done, probably, you know, coming up on the same day on a Sunday, maybe fill it in with a few other videos so that everything is rounded out. So if you think I should keep it, you know, say yay. If you think I should ditch it because it really makes no sense, say that as well. If you don't care either way, you can be like, I don't care either way. Um, or if there's, you know, anything else that you want to leave, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. So remember to choose kindness, show gratitude, always keep a positive mindset, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.